Welcome back, everybody. We are going to go be fighting Faulkner again today. Hmm, doesn't seem to be any information on Mega Stones. I like that he's looking in the Mega Stones, which I think he's going to have a Mega Pidgeot down the line. I would assume so, at the very least. I did start off with Muck. We're going to see where that leads us. I might have to actually sack. I'm going to have to sack Wooper. Hopefully Poison Point procs. Because I need to make sure Luxio gets that switch in. Yeah, I mean, it's a sack. No Poison Point was was procced. That's fine. We're going to go Sparks. We are going to attempt to avoid the, uh, the watch roll. Yep, he's going to withdraw. So he is... He is hard-coded to try and counter that. That's that's unfortunate. He's going to fish for the, the flinch. Yep, and he gets the flinch. Really? Flops out to Flittle this early. I was not expecting that, actually. Nope, we're going to swap out. I'm not getting that damage off. I'm not, he's not, nope, not happening. Yep, we're just going to completely say, nope, you are not doing that. Okay. Flittle's down. Okay, he cannot sweep with Flittle at this point. He can still sweep with Rufflet. Don't get me wrong. Okay, Wattrill is now in play. Going to rock tomb it. He's going to uh, fish for the flinch. And that's why I go sassy. It flinched again. That's rough. That dude. Oh my God. You're kidding me with that. He actually double flinched me. He actually got the double 30%. Ah, that's so aggravating. I mean, it happens. It's Pokemon. It, it just comes along with the territory of playing the game. Really? I was not expecting the swap. And he's going to heal again. <sighs> yeah, I'll avoid that. That's perfect. He's going to he's going to roost me. There we go. Okay. Woo! This is not going the way I thought it was going to. I think it's because I swapped up my party a little bit. I think his AI might have got a little confused here. Wind is finally with us. Mate, the wind's been with you. I'm having to clip your wings here. He's finished for the flinch. That's the fourth flinch this game? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm like, are we going for five? Five for five? Cat, how are you in here? You should not be in here. I left my door open for five minutes. You're going to have to wait. I'm, I'm, I've, ugh. Like, it's not like I hate my cats or anything like that. I just, they always end up in here for no reason. I guess because it's just the hottest room in the house or something. And then they're just like, oh, well, I don't want to be here. And everyone's like, oh, I didn't want you in here in the first place. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, then you're going to hear it on the mic, too, especially when I boost. You're just going to hear me. And it's like, okay. I, I can only do so much, man. Really? We're going to fish for that flinch? Five flinches. Five flinches. And that, it, that was a crit. I might actually be fucking in trouble from that. That's a damn fucking shame. Okay, come on. I have to I have to hit the Aqua Jet hit. I have to get it hit. Thank you. Thank you, Priority, for working over Roost. Woo! Okay. Flinching. No, that was that was rough. Wonderful battle. I'm upset. Hope we meet again. Oh, I'm about to give you unfortunately, but you can have this. I'll take Roost. Hell yeah. Until next time. But do they break in this game? Or is it like Let's Go? Or not Let's Go. Is it like Sword and Shield? I think Sword and Shield had the best system ever for TMs. I thought it had TMs and TRs and how, how they were separated. I actually really liked it. Um, why do I not have buttons I should have? Oh, there it is. Team case. Okay, I'm used to having its own thing. Yeah, I'm going to save that because I don't know if it's one use or not. Now I am the white mage, man. 
<laughs> wild how that works, right? It's a little switch into bite. Yeah, I, I guess. Like that was, I was not expecting that switch. But he still, I mean, he still flinched me like five times. RNG manipulation, interesting. Yeah, I see you looking at me from the corner. I see you. You're just like, let me out. You have about another 20 minutes or so. She's not like begging. She's just sitting there like, hello, human. I wish to go out. I love that the time is changing. Okay. So now we're going to go into Brock because I'm assuming this is where we can go into Brock at this point. Okay. We're going to lead with our best foot forward. Hit him. Champ at the bait gig. This is your first gym challenge. Responsible for informing you of the rules. Accuracy reducing moves and evasion raising effects have been removed from the game. That's actually super cool. Taunt pass removed from this game. Also super cool, actually. Sleep clause is in effect. Only one Pokemon per team put to sleep at a time. There's your answer. Oko moves such as Fisher, Sheer Cold, etc. are removed from the game. Bag is inaccessible during boss battles. Soft level cap before each boss, which reduces EXP gain significantly when your level cap is reached. Right. Pokemon will disobey the level when level too far above the level cap. Consumable items come back after trainer battles. Interesting. Battle style is forced to set. Okay. You cannot thief items from trainers. You are automatically healed to full in most boss battles. Rent certain exploits. Ah, okay. So I'm assuming like Rattata, like fear, right? You ever want me to reiterate the rules? That's super cool, actually. I, I kind of dig that. Stop right there. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. I like that it's a unit of measurement, though. Not a measurement, not a unit of time. Starting off with the Hisuian Growlithe. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do that. You know, that actually makes sense, though, because while it's Gen 1 and a Hisuian form, but also on theme for rock and helps take out threats like we just saw. You know, me trying to lead with Bulbasaur. But rock throw is stab. Oh, I didn't want to roll out. Fuck. Really? The withdraw. He has, he has sent out salt. It's happening, chat. He has sent out the Mario Shroom. Rollout continues to go. Just absolutely gain force. It has... I forget it has recover. Jeez, how... I like that the animation's getting a little faster, too. It's gonna continue. It cuts my attack, though, which is unfortunate. It does outspeed me. Zoom! <laughs> Dude, you see fucking Meryl just zoom in? Oh, my God! I want Belly Drum to zoom real so bad now. I want to zoom. Light yours isn't time, it's distance, yeah. Okay, well, did that heal me is the thing. I want to know. It did not heal me. Okay, we're going to go uh, gonna heal up Brock really quick. That was really impressive, actually, though. Like, I love that it also speeds up the animation. Like, that's such a little detail that they didn't have to add, but it goes so hard. Salt was removed from the chat, right? No, no, it's just Salt Bay. <laughs> I think we need to swap it up, though. I think we need to, uh... How the fuck do I take it out of the Pokeball? I don't think I can. I'll have to swap it up at some point once I figure out how. I was not expecting the 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 Knockly there. I was not expecting it. I'm glad it was there. I was not expecting it. You hear? I'm Brock, Peter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard. <laughs> you get determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. Wow, you are going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's a trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine, then show me your best. Show me your moves. First one didn't go as planned. Not really. Brock. Surprised he's not in it. Oh, I okay. That's a a Lolan variant. Okay, uh, that might be an issue. We're gonna swap in, Steve. 
Really? The double switch? Okay. The room. The room. Close with air balloon, yeah. That's a bulldoze. That's unfortunate. That also lowers my speed. No! Ugh. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I lost that. That's fine. It floats with its air balloon, which is important to know. Yeah, Varum is a thing. It's in Gen 9. It's in uh, Scarlet Violet. Uh, how the fuck do I deal with this? Send in Danny DeVito. We're going to do that, and we're going to rock tomb it. Yeah, the bulldoze is going to hurt, especially being poison type, partially. Losing that speed is whatever. I wasn't outspeeding it to begin with. I will take that. I will take that, though. Okay, now that you your air balloon has popped. I actually didn't know it was a rock type. I don't think I've ever actually really dealt with it. I know, I thought it's... I thought it was poison steel. At least it's at least its evolution was. Yeah, so it's poison steel. Okay. Okay, so rollout doesn't do jack shit against it then. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was ground for some reason. It's rock. That's a toxic. At least it's not Gen 1 coding for Toxic, because Toxic and Leech Seed can stack in Gen 1 and have an ex uh, exponential effect. It's Poison Steel. So why is Brock using it, then? That's my question. Not Rock-type. Not opposed to him using Pokemon that aren't, on his aren't generally on his team. I mean, like, it just doesn't fit his theme. Poison Steel didn't affect. That'd be why, Alan. So was yeah, misplay. Archaeops! Oh boy, we're about to get that defeatist rocking right now. There's that defeatist. Maybe? Maybe? Nope, it's gonna heal. Fuck. That was actually a really good move. And I don't have a backup for that. Uh, we're gonna send out Danny DeVito. Maybe? It knows Bulldoze as well. It doesn't get stab on it, though. Which, it's good to know that it knows Bulldoze. I think we might wipe there. I think that... I think that... I think we're too far behind at this point. I was hoping to get... I was hoping to get it down to defeatist territory. Yeah, I can't do anything here. I really can't do anything. It's not going to hit for much. No. He's Rock Tomb, yeah. I'm trying to save Volator for last if I can. No, nah, that, that was a crit. That was a crit, too. Well, we're going to see because I am incredibly weak to ground. Well, this this one is rock type. The the Varum I have a little bit of issue with. That's an Onix. Yeah, Onix is just going to negate that. That spark, yeah. Onix is actually a really good switch in here. That bulldoze just has attacks to it. All right, well. Oh, it's up to you, Beans. We're going to see if we can make a comeback. I don't think I do. I think we just have an overwhelming statistic. We have overwhelming logistics against this. Onyx outspeeds me. How? You you know what your speed stat is, Onyx. I'm, I know what your speed stat is. That is really slow. And the sturdy kicks in, yeah. How is it faster? Does it have a scarf or something? No, it can't have scarf on. Because it's using multiple moves. I mean, it's also lowering my speed. I'm not used to seeing that. I thought I thought sturdy and no, no, sturdy only procs when it's full health, right? That Geodude is yeah. I, I guess I could have just let off with Geodude and using uh magical leaf. Yeah, Alright, well that's that's a solid L. Okay. I was not I was not expecting the Varum. Cause it's not rock type, like a Kabutops I could see. Like an Omastar I could see. I don't know how to feel about that. Like, Onyx has 70 speed. I thought it was lower than I thought it had base like 30. Wow, it's actually kind of speedy. Okay. Weird. So I remember it only having like 30 speed. Okay. So what we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna just 
have confidence with our lead. I thought the steel type was going to... No, no, it's rock electric, right? I have to check what Geodude is. Things, uh, typing's randomized? No, it's not. These typings make sense. Yeah, no, so it's rock electric. That's why he swapped out to begin with. So Varum comes in. We're going to Razor Leaf. We're going to pop the balloon. It's fine because the balloon's been popped. Varum's going to probably toxic whatever comes in. What is it? Steel poison? No, it's, it's, it's a steel. Fuck, how do I deal with that? I guess technically, technically we can go Luxio. I mean, the bulldoze hurts. I, I can't stop it. I mean, technically I could try Pidgey, but I don't have anything that Pidgey knows that's going to really be beneficial here. Okay, fish for the flinch, fish for the flinch. Interesting. Yeah, so then he's going to try to bait out the electric attack, which we know we're not going to use because Onyx is still in play. Oh, uh, he's probably going to use Bulldoze. Don't really have anything I can use there, so we're going to swap out to you. Then ground moves. I mean, that was kind of the, the thinking, because I could swap out to, to Meryl. Yeah, Bulldoze is a problem for anything right now, because I have speed. Interesting. So he's using a switch. He's using Varum. Gonna try to get the sleep powder off. Okay, sleep powder pops. So here's what I'm banking on. I'm actually banking on the first turn of sleep guaranteed. Yeah, and then I'm banking on him swapping out to Onyx. Yep, there it is. So now it's gonna reset that turn as far as I'm aware. It'll reset that turn. So we're going to do that. We're going to swap out. Berry juice. Bulldoze is going to miss. Okay. So now we're here. Pika Blue can come in. It's going to lower speed, but I don't really care. So now we're going to Aqua Jet. Fine, Berry Juice is gonna proc. I'm not in favorable damage ranges is the issue. I'm really not. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna Aqua Jet again, and he's gonna go back to the exact same red he was in before. Oh never mind, I know the crit can actually happen. I I'll I'll take that crit all day. Okay. So now we're back to Arkin. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna Aqua Jet this. It's gonna only do half. Yeah. A little over half, about 60%, 70%. But then the berry is gonna kick in and then he's gonna pluck me and I'm gonna be dead. I'm not dead. Okay. That's. I'll take that. Yep, there's the facade. I don't have. So the issue is I don't have. I do have quick attack. Hold up. I do have quick attack. So I need to do it before it can roost. Damn it. Geodude is sent out. That's fine. So it's probably going to use Rock Throw. I can actually swap out to this. And then he's probably going to go Bulldoze. No, it's Spark. Okay. So I was able to mitigate that just fine. We're going to use Mud Shot. That's a, that's a self-destruct. Okay. That was a gambit. Interesting. So he either brings an Arkin or he brings an Onyx. Either way, I think we're in a favorable enough position. I'm going to bank on bringing out Arkin, but it's probably going to be Onyx. Arkin. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to quick attack that. Bird has killed other bird. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now we just have Onyx to deal with. And we have... 
No, sorry, we have Varum to deal with. And Varum is also asleep to be... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Fuck, I actually wasted a turn doing that. So that's my guaranteed turn. I think we just go down with the ship. Okay, it's fast asleep. Come on. It's the range. I don't think it's favorable. Oh, and it got it. It got it home. Oh, it got it home. Okay, the recoil is actually not that bad on takedown. So I lost proof of victory for this the official Pokemon League Boulder badge. You see the Boulder badge from Brock. Flash outside of battle. Yep. Must have the HM in your bag along and the Pokemon is able to learn it. Oh, God, that was great, actually. Take this with you. Rock Tomb. And uh, levels of speed. Yeah, no, Rock Tomb's going to be a really good H uh, TM. Uh, TM uh, contains Pokemon. TM's good for multiple uses. Don't hesitate. Oh, it is good for your multiple uses. Okay. Contains Rock Tomb. Hose Bolt Speed. That's, that was a good battle. That was a really good fight. Like, I like... <laughs> I feel that Varum could be pl replaced with something else, but ultimately, it, I had to really engage in just singles and switch mentality. That was really good. Okay. Okay. So now, what do we have? We have what's level cap? Level cap is twenty-two. So that means we're. That means you know, obviously, Misty is our next one. Ugh, level cap is twenty-two. Okay, so now we can actually move on from Pewter City. I want the egg, though. What's my money at? 9,000. Uh, play Pokemon Radical Red. You have to have the original files for Pokemon uh, Fire Red, and then you have to patch it with the Radical Red files that you can find on Google. But obviously, you know, you have to own the, own the game for legal reasons. I gotta take, I gotta, as much as it hurts me, I gotta take Steve off. That was a really good battle, though. I'm very pleased with that. It's over 9,000 it is, which means I can obtain egg! A Paldean egg, which hatched into a Paldean Pokemon. A Wonder egg contains a random first form of a Pokemon. I even a Cosmic being from these. All right, gotcha, let's go. Give me that Wonder egg. So he'll just give you a random egg, it sounds like. That's actually kind of cool. Interesting. So there's got to be a money farming method. I feel like I could actually play this for a hot minute. This is actually super cool. Hi, Grimlock. How's it going? I was able to find you. Normally, I'd be here to send a gift for your mother, but it appears she doesn't know. She doesn't love you in this game. Oh, my God. Oh, this is perfect. Anyway, <laughs> Presser forgot to give you this Dynamax. Wait a minute. We just get that right off the back. We're right off the bat. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, allows you to Dynamax, although it can only be done in raid battles. You can find them by taking the raid dens. Take these as well. These first Pokemon. These force Pokemon respawn at raid dens. Okay, so the wishing pieces, yeah. That's super cool, actually. So, uh, I'll go Solgaleo. Love me and my Steel types. There's a reason I like Zacian. Which I actually need to get back into VGC. If anyone's curious about VGC, I need to actually brainstorm with a lot of people. Poke chat in the Discord server is perfect for that. Um, Let's see. I don't really have anything I want to use there. Yes, hi, Cat. How are you doing? Let's see. I need a certain number of steps anyways. <laughs> Excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? Well, maybe. What of it? <laughs> Fido! Mm, baked, baked puppy. There we go. Well, you should go get some sleep, Grinrock, especially if you're sleepy. Can I actually do this, though, with Sludge? It's special. Yeah, I have the level difference. Yeah. The level differences makes made it possible. Nidoran. All right. What are we thinking, chat? What are we thinking the egg's going to be? I'm very curious. Why do I not have a ground type? Oh, yeah, because I got rid of Wooper. Fuck. You should definitely get some sleep, though. Take advice from someone that doesn't actually sleep. 
Oh man, today was rough. I don't know what it was. I just could not like actually sleep. I might actually need Whooper is the, is the shitty thing. I'm also poisoned, so I shouldn't actually be worried about getting poisoned by it. There we go. Bye, Nidoran. I'm, you know what I'm itching? I'm kind of itching to watch Pokemon the first movie. I'm kind of itching to watch Mewtwo Strikes Back. Kinda. Ditto Fantep or Igly buff? Ditto. 100%. Colton used Dotler. Dotler! Bug! Spherical bug! I'm gonna sludge it. I'm gonna sludge it! That's the light screen. Fine, I got bird. Been a while. It has been a while. I've been itching to watch, uh, honestly, Destiny Deoxys, actually. Cause I remember watching, I remember when that came out when I was in elementary school, I remember Destiny Deoxys. Like, damn, I've, I've, I've been, I've been, been around a while. Dollar you side beam, that dollar is actually a little strong. That's, I'll take that crit. Yeah, I need like wing attack or something better than Gust. Next screen more off. Spupa. I guarantee you Gust is special and not physical, so that's also going to be an issue. Detect. I'm curious if the Birth and Naval Isles are actually in this by default. I'd be very curious if you could catch Deoxys, Lugia, and Ho-Oh that way naturally in this game. I'd be very interested in that. It's him. Zentrea. Zentrea has appeared. <laughs> Bye, Snom. Cat, please. You have like five minutes. You can wait. She's just being annoying. She's not actually like in trouble or anything. You can beat me again. Hell yeah. It him. Beans is evolving. Combat ability at all. I would assume not. Arma's a very just intensive game. There we go. Beans has evolved. More bean has been acquired. Oh, we have uh, Pidgey evolving as well. Interesting. I always forget the level it evolves at. Yeah, it would make sense about 16, yeah. It also makes it so you can't trivialize the game. All right, well, Pidgeotto has Pidgeotto and Ivysaur both have increased stats now. Learn dual wing beat. That's a dragon type move though, right? No, it's flying. It's twice in a row. Yeah, because Gust is special and 40, so I'm going to just get rid of that. I like, like that the sound is uh, kind of glitching out a little bit. There's a sound resume there. Look at his little legs. Look at him go. Look at him go. What are those? Tiny leggies. All right, I'm thinking we because we can get to unless there's like a really big roadblock trainer, we can get to Mount Moon. We can get to Mount Moon in that Pokemon Center that is right there. So that's gonna be where this episode's gonna end. I, so far, like so far, the trainers. I mean, they feel like just your average trainer, which is fine. I like it. And your your gym leaders and actual progress gates do feel like progress gates. It's wild. Comfy to wear. Is this the shorts, dude? This is the shorts, dude. Youngster Ben. Okay. That's regular. I mean, I'm not used to seeing regular Kintonian uh, Rattata. I'm really not. I'm so used to seeing a Lowland Rattata. Mastiff. Okay. That's fine. Have you heard of, uh, have you heard of my boy Magical Leaf? Hey, Tony, what's up? That snarl is going to be a problem. Eh, it's okay. It's my special attack. Don't really care. Infinite Fusion. You want to? I, I will play Infinite Fusion at some point. I'm going to try to get into the habit of making episodic content via this first. 
and then we're going to move on infinite fusion. So poison gas, 90. Nah, I'm good. Mostly I'm trying to also get back into VGC and just trying to get enough, you know, momentum and enough inspiration to actually play VGC again. Just haven't really been feeling it with Gen 9. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Actually being here. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I do other things aside from React content. I've actually been trying to get around to doing other things in React content recently. But yeah, welcome. Hope you're enjoying some of the content. Swap out. That Ninkata being part ground type might be an issue. That's a switch. That's a dust ox. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. There we go. One. Two. Luxio's just now level 16. How's it working? Well, I'm glad that it is enjoyable. I always worry that I'm too boring. Then I hop into streams and I'm just like, wait, I talk a lot more. <laughs> doesn't feel right. right yeah right now like the season's almost over for destiny 2 and i'm just i can't care i i have to, i haven't even run crow to this week and i'm just like i can't i mean i have to run Val because i want to finish out the weapons and stuff i'm just having trouble even just get sizzlipede my beloved just having trouble even getting motivated to play the game right now uh city skylines oh so it's been a hot minute well welcome hope you're enjoying I love Martin Cedar Pants' videos. They're so good. And every time I watch them, I'm just very impressed. Joltik! Dual Wimbeak is actually a really... Okay. I had to think about... Was that the toilet meme sound effects? No, it was just feathers hitting. Perfect. Dude, it gets Whirlwind. Hell yeah. That could actually be kind of tech. It has negative priority. Negative six specifically. But it could come in clutch. There we go. Perfect. Uh, stream much better in my opinion. Right, right, right. And, and I appreciate that people enjoy me talking and ranting and going on about things. You're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? What are you... Dude, the, the amount of just absolute hate I'm getting because I'm not wearing shorts. Like, my God. <laughs> Galarian. Yep, Galarian Zigzagoon. And that's the thing, is a lot of streamers, sometimes they're just comfortable enough that they really don't want to talk. It's nothing against them. It's that it's just their style. I try to be more active and I try to be a little more engaging and try to engage chat as much as I can. And this Pokemon is going pretty well. I it's this is the ROM hack version of uh Fire Red. Fire Red being my introduction to Pokemon many, many, many years ago. I'm older than the franchise, let's be real. And so I kinda wanted to go through this and kind of see what the ROM hack community is doing with Pokemon that would honestly benefit, you know, the mainstream games and or if this is more fun than the mainstream games. So I'm just having a lot of fun. That's so infuriating. I see you there. See you meowing. Also having conversations with Cap. Mommy! I need to see what hatches from this egg. I'm very curious. As the boat memes, right? I it's, it's gotten so bad that I was playing, like, Resident Evil 4, and you know the section where Krauser is taking the boat? I've just started being like, hey, look, chat, it's the funny. It's the ha-ha funnies. I, so, the boat has just bled over. It absolutely has. Let's go sludge. Get that type. Yep, there we go. Oh, and the poison. Hell yeah, unless it heals right now. I think it knocks it out. I think it's in range. Protects from critical hits. There we go. Critter. One's every single Call of Duty. I just, I have trouble getting into modern Call of Duties. Like, I mean, I came from an era of Modern Warfare 2, right? And that was kind of my jam. And like, yeah, sure, I played World at War. Sure, I played COD 4 Modern Warfare, right? I don't know. Just, I actually never really even played Black Ops or Black Ops 2, which it, it is a goal of mine to get back and play those at some point. I, I feel at the very least I owe it, especially to a lot of viewers who have said that, you know, they really like Black Ops. So I have to give Black Ops a... Uh, Gotta give Black Ops its 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 just as not just its it's I gotta give Black Ops its fair shake is what I'm trying to say. Although the game is going by a little bit quicker now. Generally in games, the super early game I do pretty well. Uh, the early mid game I start to falter a little bit, and then the mid game about 20s to 30s I absolutely am just atrocious, just due to how uh, RPGs and stuff are leveled, especially in the mid game. But then the late game I start to come back a little bit. 
So the mid game might be a little bit of a grind. Just do repetitive Black Ops is pretty good though. I've heard a lot of good things about Black Ops, specifically Black Ops 2. I own Black Ops 3 too, but I uninstalled it due to the security concerns. And that's actually why I haven't reinstalled Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if they've resolved the security exploits and concerns. I just haven't. Uh, this is like three damn times. Legend. I'm curious what's in this grass. Heek, did you touch me? No, I'm trying to run by you. It's so good. Challenged by Last Robin. Send out Flaffy! Watame! So that probably the least Japanese way I probably could have actually. Now well, let's think back on how I pronounce that. <laughs> I would love to get the plushy frog for Martin Cita fans. I would love to. Next round I'll probably get it. That's a flash. Okay, so they're fishing for the accuracy drop. Okay, they're just trying to stall me out. It's whatever. There we go. There we go. And Beans has increased, is now level 18. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to go by here. <laughs> oh, it, it just feels like you're coming back to... There's a max raid then. Interesting. It just feels like, you know, after a while, you're just you're just coming back and you know to a game that you just see as home and feel comfortable with. But this has been awesome. Brock was a really interesting fight. And, you know, it feels like the game's getting paced a lot better, especially going into the early mid game, you know, level uh, roughly about level 20s. You know, some of the things like dual wing beat and stuff are hitting a lot harder. Things just feel like they're paced a little bit better. And last, if you're on the Kip TV channel, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. I definitely appreciate this. There will be more Pokemon days to come. I absolutely uh you know they, they will happen don't you worry about that and uh yeah i'm gonna go free this cat really quick and i will see you in the next pokemon day